Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. Uh, I'm a little bit sick. I had, I don't know what it was, it's the middle of summer and I was sick. I had the fever for a couple of uh, days actually, even though I made a video yesterday, it was recorded the day before. So I had it yesterday and most of today. But I'm feeling better already, so, uh, you know, I apologize if I am sounding a little bit tired. It's because, you know, you really don't even uh, appreciate your health until you, you get, you know, you get sick. And then you could really start to, you know, appreciate what healthy feels being like, you know, what being healthy feels like. As of now, it's, it's okay, it's passing by, but my cell head is still throbbing, but that's okay. Uh, because, you know, this video is not taking too much of an effort to record. These videos, I love recording for you, them, for you so uh, I really do enjoy that. So if we were to, uh, you know, if you were wanting to support this channel, uh, I, do, I do consider, or I, I would consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, consider doing so. Um, you know, I would recommend it. It helps. Uh, it, it 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 helps my channel grow and get the information out to more people about the weather. And unfortunately, as you could see, there is tropical storm Barry prob possibly becoming a hurricane in the next couple of hours. I won't be making another video. I just apologize. It's I it's not my specialty hurricanes. I'm not too good at forecasting them, and it requires a little bit more brain power for me than I have right now, especially after being sick. So I still want to uh, update you though, guys, on the weather. So. Uh, as you could probably, or you've heard in the news, the Midwest and the East and much of the country will be in above average uh, conditions. If we go to the uh, precipitation and moisture, if we were to go to the 2 meter temperature anomalies, we could see that right now nothing too terrible, uh, not too warm, not too cold anywhere. Uh, though it's getting, you know, it's getting a little bit muggy across the country due to this storm bringing in tons of moisture with it. But uh, that's not going to be there for the whole time. Uh, the, the moisture, the mugginess, I, it's going to be more more dry than uh, than than uh, than humid, which is unusual, especially when there's such a warm air mass, such a hot air mass going on across uh, the country. Usually, heat is associated with humidity, especially across the United States. And if we were to look across the next couple of days, this is Saturday. Um, I think the models are a little underdoing the heat, but you could see that Sunday, July 14th, pretty warm. But then we start seeing the cool air from uh, from Tropical Storm Barry, uh, you know, hit areas like Missouri, there's Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. And uh, that weakens the anomaly. Um, it's, it's there for a couple of days, but uh, generally doesn't stay for too long. And I think the models are overdoing the cold brought by the storm. But I also think that some of the media outlets are overdoing the heat that's approaching. You know, some people are saying hundreds across the country. I don't think there will be even close to 100, maybe like 96, 95. But to get to an 100, that, that takes quite a bit of heat. And we just don't have that right now. We have a tropical storm. Uh, you can see it doesn't look too remarkable in either way. We have, okay, so finally we see an above average temperature right there. Friday looks pretty warm. Saturday looks warm. Sunday looks as well warm. But you can see that there could be some cooling occurring. And that could uh, be bringing in a more uh, cool air rather than hot air. So I think, like, for example, the climate prediction center. Let me just pull this up. If we go to the uh, 6 to 10 day outlook for the climate prediction center, it's, it's quite a bit... Um, uh, overdone, I think. I mean, they're showing like 90-80% confidence in it being above average. Um, I wouldn't be too uh, confident on that. I think it will be above average, but um, I just don't, I'm not too awfully convinced on this. And you can see below average for this western and basically a good chunk of the country. You could see a Colorado, Nebraska, Wyoming, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas being below average and in parts of the east and north and west being above average in terms of precip and the 8 to 14 day outlook if we were to go to the 8 to 14 day outlook uh i, I think uh, they're still showing the warmth which i think is ridiculous because july 20th through 26th um even if you look at the ensemble uh ensembles which people have been complaining i haven't been showing the ensembles but i have been in the previous videos I have it not just been showing the GFS, and you can see that the ensembles are showing heat, yes, warmth, but then uh, they're showing a little bit of cooling. 
uh, quite a bit of cooling actually you could see towards the end of July and I mean I just don't think that there will be uh, this much heat you know especially in 8 to 14 day outlook I think it's overdone drastically but you know um, that's that's what they're that's what they're showing and I guess they have the right to show what they want but I think they also have an obligation not to lie to the people and I think I feel like if they they are they're twisting it a little bit towards the heat um, but you could see that in terms of let's go to the uh, humidity I wanted to show you the humidity um, where can I find this hold up I want to go to GFS I want to show you the humidity levels Fuck you. and I want to show you that with this heat wave it won't be really too awfully moist or muggy at all um, it, it will be you know obviously the storm Tropical bear, uh, tropical storm barrier at this point, uh, may become a hurricane again. You can see it is producing a lot of moisture, bringing it in from the Gulf of Mexico. But um, as of now, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, I mean, uh, it doesn't seem to be bringing in too much moisture too far north. Uh, but uh, definitely, it makes a substantial difference. I mean, you can see Tuesday, and this is relative humidity. So. Um, you can see that during these pluses, obviously, wherever it's green, then yes, that's that's, that's muggy. But whenever you see those 50s and th those brown colors, that's basically below 50, which is on the drier side. And you can see that um, there's actually going to be quite a big chunk of the country in the drier conditions, or in the less humid, I should rather say. And that actually represents itself very well, because um, you can see it's below average on these 6 to 10 and 8 to 14 day outlooks. It's below average precip and usually when there's a less humid air mass, it produces, sorry about that, usually produces less uh, rain. And that's what the below average is indicating on there. And if we were to go forward, because the GFS model is just coming in, but I decided to record this video now since I'm feeling a bit better, so I don't know how I'll be feeling later on. But um, you can see that the heat may or not may not continue. It's still, uh, you know, it's still questionable, especially with those. I showed you the ensembles, the GEFS, and let's go to. I don't think it shows the uh, the, the humidity, but it does show the precipit uh, total precipital water and, and normalized anomaly. And you can see that uh, in terms of the water, it it looks, you know, uh, it it looks a little bit more moist, and that's natural because it's warm. But usually during a heat wave like this, you'd see more of this and not so much, uh, not so much dry humidity. But we'll just have to see about that. If we were to look at a different ensemble like the GEPS, uh, let's go to the two meter temperature anomaly. I haven't looked at this one yet, so I actually don't know what's to come about this one. But we will explore it together. And okay, yeah. So showing the warmth up until uh, about next weekend, fairly fairly warm. You could see fairly drastic. And then as we uh, go further and further, okay, so it's still showing no r really major signs of cooling, but there's a little couple of days that are going to be cooler. So we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, it's July, so usually around this time we usually uh, experience some pretty hot conditions. And I know it's usually hot in July, um, just, you know, whether it's below or, or above average. But we've been seeing some chillier weather for the past couple of uh, days, especially here yesterday. It was beautiful weather. Uh, it got down to the 70s, but today, it, tomorrow it's gonna get warm and humid again. So not not looking too good in terms of uh, the heat. I mean, it's gonna be pretty warm, but it, again, it doesn't seem like it will be a ridiculous heat wave. And what are we on right now? Uh, okay, so this is the. Let's go back. I wanted to show you the. Uh, let's just go to. I don't know where we could. So I could show you the highs and the. Uh, let's just go to the M, uh, 500 M, uh, um, MB geopotential height, and I just want to show you this because this basically shows us where the where the ridges will, sh you know, where the heat wave will possibly be, and you could tell that basically by this kind of a zonal flow, almost like if the jet stream is buckling, but in a whole different way, kind of like this. So that's allowing a lot of warm air to trap here and start building up, and it's going to be very warm in these. Uh, in these areas but then if we go further with this like say our 72 and further on we could still see we could see that the pattern is changing a little bit and we're more seeing the pa uh, the jet stream you can see the lines are more oriented like this now and that could be uh, that could be and that could be basically uh, mean chillier weather across this part of the country but we'll just have to see on that but uh, thank you guys so much for watching consider liking the video i'm sorry if i wasn't too uh good at recording today's video i'm still a little bit sick so i apologize but i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next episode see ya bye